Nick's all-time favorite lemon meringue pie today on a weekend at the cottage. I made this beautiful lemon meringue pie a couple of hours ago uh, and while I was preparing it I shot the video. I now want to walk you through how to prepare this beautiful magical dessert uh, and hopefully I'm going to inspire you to take a stab at making it. It is so worth the effort. A lemon meringue pie has three components. The first is a pie shell, the second is the lemon filling, and then the third is the meringue. Before we start, a quick discussion about the principal ingredient, which is lemon. This is the kind of lemon we normally see at the supermarket. This is a Meyer lemon, and I'm going to recommend you try to track down Meyer lemons when you prepare this recipe. They're uh, a more vibrant color, they have a very thin skin. The skin is a bit more fragrant than traditional lemons, and the inside is, is truly what it's about. It is a sweet lemon and these lemons will certainly go the distance in this recipe. To start we need to bake our pie shell. So I have one disc of pie dough. If you need a great pie dough recipe, head to Weekend at the Cottage, click the search icon, add pie dough and my mom's pie dough recipe will come up. There are two options. You could do a lard crust or you could do a butter crust. I think the butter crust is right for this recipe and that's what I'm using. We start then by rolling the pie dough out onto a flat surface, a little bit of flour, flour your rolling pin, roll it out to a nice round, very thin size. Uh, we're then going to lay it into a nine inch pie plate. Notice I kind of push the pie dough down into the plate and then when I'm crimping the edges I need to make sure that that pie dough is resting on the upper rim because we're going to pre-bake this pie shell so you don't want it to shrink down and fall to the bottom we need to make sure that that pie dough is cresting the top of that plate it's very important I roll out the dough I crimp the edges now I take a fork I just kind of add a few little pricks around the bottom and on the sides and then you need to chill your pie shell for 30 minutes now that the pie shell is chilled I have a square of foil Place the foil into your pie plate, tuck it down nicely, and then we're adding pie weights. If you don't have pie weights, add two or three cups of beans or rice. That'll anchor down that foil to make sure your pie uh, crust doesn't shrink when it's going in the oven. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees and transfer your pie shell in. We're going to bake it for 20 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, take it out of the oven, lift up the foil and the pie weights go out and we need to place the pie shell back in the oven for an additional 20 minutes. While that shell is cooking for the final 20 minutes, we move on and now we make our glorious lemon custard filling. We have a medium sized saucepan. I'm placing in one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar, quarter cup of cornstarch, and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Whisk those dry ingredients together. Now we need to add liquid. One and a quarter cup of cold water and a quarter cup of whole milk. Whisk all of that liquid and the dry ingredients together until the sugar and cornstarch dissolve. We're now on the stove top. Turn the heat up to medium and I need you to whisk the pot all the time. Just keep whisking, whisking, whisking as the liquid heats up. Almost to the point when it boils, all of a sudden the consistency changes. It gets very glutinous, it changes color and you know that this uh, milk mixture is cooked. Remove it from the heat. Now we have five eggs at room temperature. Place the egg whites into the bowl for your stand mixer and place the egg yolks into a small um, stainless bowl. Just break them up, whisk them with a fork. Now we take that hot milk mixture and slowly drizzle in, the quantity is one cup, one cup of that milk mixture into the egg yolks. As you're doing that whisk constantly, we want to make sure the eggs don't cook, but we want to make sure they're incorporated with the egg mixture. Back to stove top, place whatever's left in the saucepan back on your stove top, reduce heat to low, and now we're going to pour that yolk mixture back in with the milk mixture, whisk it all together, and we're going to add the juice of our Meyer lemons. We have half a cup of lemon juice goes in, and then we need the zest, uh, about a tablespoon of lemon zest. Those go into the pot, and now you start whisking continuously for three minutes. We have to make sure the mixture cooks, it's going to get nice and thick and you'll know it's done. We add two tablespoons of butter. I want you to whisk that until it's melted and place it to the side. Now over to our meringue. We have our stand mixer, five egg whites. I'm adding half a teaspoon of cream of tartar and an eighth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Put your stand mixer on just a low setting to get it started. And then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of super fine sugar, not icing sugar, not granulated. It's right in between. Super fine. We're going to add one tablespoon at a time. Turn the stand mixer up and watch your meringue come together. 
Right about at this point, the meringue is done, but so is that pie shell. Take your pie shell out of the oven, it's nice and golden. We're going to pour in our hot lemon mixture, beautiful, and now take a spatula and start dabbing dollops of your meringue on top. The meringue is light and billowy, so you'll be able to move it to the edges of the pie, make sure that all of the meringue is touching the pie crust on the top, and then just keep patting it down. You'll fill the top of the pie like a dome. You'll have probably one uh, spoon left of that meringue. Just take it all out with a spatula, place it on the center, and then dab it with a spatula to create those gorgeous peaks. Our pie is now created, ready to go in the oven. Turn your heat down to 350, place the pie in, and we're going to bake it for 15 minutes. If you have a convection oven, turn on that feature because the circulation of the air will allow your pie to set and have a beautiful golden color, very even color on top of the meringue. The only downside to this recipe is you gotta let the pie sit now for three hours before you serve it. When you're ready to serve, we're taking a very sharp knife, run it under cold water, make your incisions to create that beautiful wedge shape, and then you're ready to serve. Let me serve this up, and then we'll do our final little thoughts on this glorious recipe. In my mind, there is nothing more delicious or monumental than a gorgeous lemon meringue pie. Mmm. Crust is flaky. Lemon is tart but still sweet. And then these billows of meringue on top make the entire dessert certainly a showstopper. I know you're going to have great success when you make this lemon meringue pie at home. I hope you enjoy. Looking to enjoy other great recipes, please head to weekendatthecottage.com. Please also look for us on your favorite social media feeds, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Finally, Weekend at the Cottage on YouTube, you'll see a ton of videos there for you to enjoy. Kindly add some comments, give us a thumbs up, and also share those videos with your friends. We hope they enjoy them as well. Thank you so much for learning all about the lemon meringue pie today. Hope you come back and see us again soon. Have a great day. Take care.